you know, you, you, if you've been watching the news, perhaps you've heard about this. The U.S. faces a debt crisis. We don't want to default on our debt. This issue has cropped up a number of times in recent years. And uh, so there is such a thing as a debt ceiling. And then Congress goes in and raises the debt ceiling so we can raise more and more and more debt and uh, we won't default. Okay. And, and then sometimes the Republicans don't want to raise the debt ceiling. So they had a big fight on this during the Obama years, during the Tea Party years. Now there's a question. What do you do if the Congress won't raise the debt ceiling? What do you do if the United States is about to default on its debt? Well, there is, there is a, a seemingly crazy idea that's been around for some time. It's right now it's being pushed by Rashida Tlaib, a radical leftist in the House of Representatives, who is saying, well, we don't even need Congress to, to raise the debt ceiling. Th- the president has the authority to mint a one trillion dollar coin because of this one provision of the law that allows you to mint a platinum coin of any denomination. You can just mint a trillion dollar coin and then there, there you go. Then you can uh, deal with the debt and, and you don't need to worry about it. And it's a, it's a bit of an accounting gimmick, but is this how we're going to deal with our, our spending problems in this country? We're going to just have the president mint trillion dollar coins? Well, actually the idea wasn't just proposed by Rashida Tlaib, it was suggested years ago by Barack Obama. There was this theory that I had the authority to just issue this, uh, through the the mint, I could just issue this massive a tr- trillion dollar coin. A trillion dollar commemorative coin. Commemorative <laughs> coin, and, and that on that basis we could try to pay off our uh, U.S. Uh, treasuries. And it was a very realistic possibility that uh, we couldn't get the votes for that and we couldn't get... Uh, those debts rolled over and we would be in a situation where uh, technically we were in default. And, and at that point you were in uncharted territory. At that point you were in uncharted territory. I guess that's true. And th- there are some economists who believe that if you mint a trillion dollar coin, like we're a failing government of Zimbabwe or something like that, that actually the, the effect won't be that bad. If it's just a week or so, or even if we default, if it's just like a week or so, it's not going to be a big deal. We'll deal with the accounting error. Forget about it. Who cares? Regardless of the legality of this, regardless even of the potential repercussions, this is not how a free people governs itself. This is not how a serious country deals with its fiscal problems. The way that we're supposed to deal with that is Congress is supposed to hold the purse strings. Remember, that's what they taught us in School has Rock. I am a bill up on Capitol Hill and all that. Congress has the purse strings. Congress decides how much money to spend. Congress decides how much, how much debt it's willing to tolerate. And then the government runs itself in that way. And the executive runs the government according to, to that system. But that's not how it works in our country anymore. We're now a very frivolous country that doesn't take any of this stuff seriously, least of all self-government. It is very hard to say that we govern ourselves in this country if we have no say over how much money we're spending, how we're spending that money through our elected representatives, and if we, have, if we don't have a say period because some tyrants at Google have, have seized the reins of all of our speech in America. And they determine who gets to say what and who gets to say true things and who gets to even quote scientific authorities and who gets to label that scientific misinformation. I'm so glad that you enjoyed this video on YouTube. I'm so glad YouTube let me keep this video up because sometimes I say true things and then YouTube doesn't want me to say those true things. So they say that the true things are false things and then they promote false things and it's really frustrating. If you want to stop that kind of preposterous, dangerous, anti-American censorship, I would strongly recommend you go check out the audio version of this podcast, which is harder for the big tech tyrants to censor. You can get that at The Michael Knoll Show. It's free. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever you get your podcasts. Head on over there before uh, some of these other joints uh, try to censor us entirely. <laughs>